guys. So the other day I posted a video of us training and a lot of you guys were commenting down below saying like, what, what is that pass at 47 seconds? So uh, it's a surfboard pass and I, I think I may have have it, I may have it somewhere on the channel, but I wanted to kind of go over it again. Um, and the cool part about the surfboard pass is you're kind of repurposing a like fundamental movement of jiu-jitsu. So all you like white belts who, or even the color belts and stuff too, but all you white belts probably maybe have done this thing before, like where you do the technical stand up and you're like, I hate doing this thing. I don't want to do it anymore. But there's a cool purpose to it. So again, we're gonna be posting on our opposite hand and foot and being able to lift our body up. Now, instead of going backwards, we're gonna be going forward. So the pass looks something like this. I'll show it to you first, and then afterwards I'll show you how to set it up. So basically, uh, in the video, what I was doing is going here and then bringing my body up and over, and then going to a knee on belly position. So here's how I like to set this pass up. I like to, if I'm gonna be going to my left side, I'm gonna pop up to my left foot first and I come down here and I start to kind of like work on the inside here, kind of like onto the inside of this arm here. I don't go too far forward because obviously I don't want to get triangle choke, but I'll be kind of out here wrist fighting, hand fighting, and I begin to walk to the opposite side. Opposite side, opposite side. What happens as he's chasing me, I then open and I want to lift up and I want to let this leg slide right over his, okay? This obviously will take some practice for sure. The key is just to get your leg right over. And the reason that we call it the surfboard passes is because once you hit that, that knee right into the sternum here, boom, it's like, it's like riding the wave down, right? So let's look at it again. The basic way to drill it is just simply do it from this position. Again, if you got the gi on, you can grab the sleeve. If it's no gi, just get on the inside of the, the wrist here or the bicep a little bit and then open. And then again, we shoot over and go right into position. And then from there, the setup I like to use on it is to get in here, one, two, right into position and put my weight down. Okay, and again, you can be as nasty or as nice as you want to be um, when you hit it, but that's the pass. And you guys can watch that. I'll put the link to the other video uh, down below where you can kind of see it in action. But it's a really good pass. And if you guys are ever in Tucson, Arizona, and you would really like to learn how this pass works, you would like to learn from a master of this pass, my buddy Day Riley, uh, he owns Undisputed uh, Jiu Jitsu, and it's a, it's a really big gym down in uh, Tucson, Arizona. That dude, he mastered this pass back as a purple belt, and it was just like ace in the hole. He could hit anybody with it. Uh, back in the day. So if you ever like want to see this pass, go get a private lesson from him or something on how to do the surfboard pass. So anyway, I'm done. Guys, thanks for the question and I'll talk to you guys next time.